David Lehman lived with Officer Carr for four years in college. He says Carr came from a law enforcement family and always knew he wanted to be a police officer. Stephen was a, uh, a happy-go-lucky guy. He was always laughing, smiling. He was always joking around. Um, he was a a extremely loyal friend. David Lehman says Officer Carr was more than a friend. He was family. He says he always worried about Officer Carr when he was on the job. I didn't believe it and just kind of feels like I still kind of feel like I'm going to wake up from a bad dream and uh, I know it's really happening but just still kind of in shock and just kind of trying to wrap my mind around the fact that he's gone. Officer Carr's father also wore the badge to protect the citizens of Houston. Lehman says the outpouring of support from the community is not surprising because Carr touched so many lives. I saw some posts from people who worked on Dixon and, and spoke about just how kind he was and friendly and he'd always check in on them and, and I'm not surprised. You know, that's just the, time, the kind of guy he was and, and uh, I'm just extremely proud of him and the impact that he made on so many people. Carr loved to spend time outdoors hunting and fishing. He played football with Lehman at Southwest Baptist University in Missouri. A selfless man with a heart to help others. Gone too soon. If I could see him one more time, I'd tell him how much I love him again. And uh, just give him a big old hug. He was a big old teddy bear. He's a big man, but he's a teddy bear. And uh, yeah, just tell him how much I love him, how proud of him I am for being so selfless, doing a job that he knew was dangerous, but he did it anyway. The police chief said this was the worst day in the history of the Fayetteville Police Department, and the memorial here grows a tribute to Officer Carr's impact on the community. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Emma Claybrook, 4029 News.